Hello guys and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use its uh, Exchange Hair Toolkit. So oftentimes we have a model like this from ZBrush that's built with hairbrush, right? A tube. Okay. Now this tube, of course, will have some ending like that. Okay. Uh, but it shouldn't matter in theory. And the first thing you need to do is to convert this into, into hair guides is to separate the model into individual pieces and then delete their history right and you grab them all and use the tool and you can say convert hair tubes to curve and this number here will be the number of cvs uh the curve will have so 10 means there will be 10 cvs uh, when you build it okay we do that and then all the hair uh tubes will be converted into curves okay as you can see here all right so the mechanic underneath is, is going to select the longest line down the way right of that original model and select that loop so one thing you have to be sure that your hair is having is that the longest line is uh, on its uh, direction of the hair otherwise it will select a ring right, which will be problematic so maybe I'll go ahead and implement something more like you know choose the shorter one or whatever uh, but basically that's the mechanic right anyway so when those are converted to uh, hair curves then you can make them hair guides right so that's what it does but there's one more problem with this uh, you can see now the curves you create maybe it's you know penetrating through the the model right so that wouldn't be helpful if you convert it it's gonna have to be moved or somehow like be different uh, so it would be better if the hair is growing on the geometry and also you don't want to use the whole geometry to grow the hair either right so let's talk about how we can convert geometry first let's go to the right view and we're gonna go ahead and select the faces that we will need to grow the hair so these guys Right. let's say those are the faces that you need to really have the hair on okay and you grab those faces you can click on this make following hair base and use blend shape what this does is going to be creating a new geometry and use a blend shape to attach it to the original model so that when you rig the original model the action hair will already be following because this new model it creates will be uh, deforming with it using blend shape you can also choose rough deformer if you already have the rig done because uh, the blend shape does require to rebuild the vertex order which destroys the whole rig right so that cannot be so if you have a rig already and you want to add hair use rough deformer if you don't have the rig i would recommend to use blend shape okay it's going to remap the uv so your uv will be remapped to fill in the new uv space you can also choose to have a subdivision so that you can have a denser model if your model is too low uh, we all know that on some extent Axton wanted to have a higher resolution model to work better okay uh, i think it uses vertex information something like that anyway i'm gonna choose the default setting here uh, it should be should be working on most of the cases right grab those faces and make follow hair base I just want to uh, warn you that blend shape freezes the transformation and destroys the construction history. Right, hit OK to continue. Right, and now you can see a new model called Body Low got created. If you go to the um, channel box, you can see there is a blend shape attached. So now, if you go ahead and tweak the original model, you can see how the new model is also changing with it. So you don't worry about the, the attachment and all the smaller details on how to make a model that has different topology still be blend shape controlled by another model right anyway so you can rename this i didn't have the rename functionality but you know it's up to you to rename that maybe to hair base or something like always rename your stuff okay anyway so now you have the hair base geometry and you want those curves to root on the hair base so i'm gonna grab all the curves and then the hair base and the last functionality here is root curve to skin and you can control the fallout which means how many curves how many vertices will be moved from the root uh, to the next one to the next one right how many will be moved to have a nice fallout right let's choose three and root okay you can see now how those curves are now exactly on the model oops you know what that's not true because uh it's actually rooted in here because the the root of the uh, the hair strands are actually uh from the bottom if you go grab all the curves and go to display 
uh, sorry, select first CV. You can see there on the bottom, right? When that happens, well, you have to reverse the direction of the curve, which should be very easy to do. Go to curve, and then there is a reverse direction here, and that should do it. So now if we do go take a look at the first CV, you can see, oops, they're not doing that. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, so those guys, right, and then curves. Uh, reverse direction yeah I, I guess I was selecting surface anyway so now if you go select the first CV you can see now they're over there right let's do that again right grab all the curves and then the hair base and you do root okay you can see now how they're rerouted to the hair base their first CV now is exactly on the surface of the model okay now that will be really helpful because it will give, it's gonna give you exactly the shape you want Okay. Of course, you can control Z to go back. If you think they're arcing, changing too much, you can save in a fall of just one point, and then only the first CV will be moved to, to the closest point on the surface. Okay, root. You can see now they're just moved a little bit. Okay, if you don't like the fall of, you can see here like those points are kind of like clustered together. You can just grab all the curves and rebuild it again. That way, your uh, your your CV curves will be like re-evaluated and rebuilt. Right. So um, if you have like um, a lot of curves, of course there's a way you could do that, but there's problems all the time when you do that all together. Like let's say I, I don't do that using the code, but rather I'm doing that like manually, like you can see they're protruding through the surface, right? If I want to do that manually, I could, if I go uh, select all the CVs, oh, grab this guy and make it live, right? And grab all the CVs and select the first CV. And you can try to move them, but you can see how they're snapped in a really bad way, and that's why I developed this tool to help with that. So now, if you just, you know, make it root, then they're just gonna be rooted right there. Right? With one click, you got everything done for you already. All right. So with, uh, that's basically all the functionalities of this, and then you can just go here, go ahead and you know convert that into. Uh, you can create accident here now, right? Using that, and do test text collection, and you can use uh, uh, guides, right? Oops, collection, and then create. Okay, and then you can just grab the curves. And then go to utilities and curve to guys. You can either choose to delete the curves or keep them, right? Based on if you want them anymore, and then you can just add guides. They can see now they become guides, right? Uh, of course, my size is too small. Right? I should probably make the size bigger. This is not the correct size. But now you can see how easily you can make guides uh, from like our original ZBrush tube all the way to the hair guides, right? Cool. All right, that's one. Uh, way to do it. Another way that people have in their creation process with hair is to use a, uh, let me add all these, and that. Another way people do this is to use a sculpted hair, right? like this. right? And you can do it uh, with that also. Just make sure that you have your model and you go to the UV, you do a automatic UV. And that way your model has some UV to work with, otherwise the paint effect will not work. And this workflow has been popular. Uh, you can see a lot of tutorials on it uh, on YouTube or somewhere. But basically you have a decimated model from ZBrush that's a sculpted hair, right? And then you do the UV by doing automatic UV, and then you go to generate, and oops, grab the model, right? Go to generate and make paintable, which is here. Right, and then you go to generate and you paint, uh, go to paint effect 2. Right, and then you can start painting. Okay, so you can then just click and drag to start paint out a line. It's too big, <laughs> let me make it smaller. Right, you can paint multiple lines on the surface of the model, right? Like for the pullback part. Now because they are all rooted from different area, area of the face, it would be better to draw uh, the underneath ones first, and that's, you know, those are the ones that's supposed to be underneath, right? I'm dragging those things out first. Alright, now once I have all these curves, or rather, uh, pen effects, right, I can grab them all, right, and then I can go to the convert uh, pen effect to curve, 
right? This is convert all the pen effect into curves, and this is gonna fall into one group. Okay. And I think that when I was drawing out it's gonna like twist it. <laughs> so let me delete that. Anyway, so now we have all these, right? And then we can also grab our hair base and we can root our curve on the hair base. Now this is going to be really useful because you uh, dragging those things all the way to there will be like a lot of work and you have a lot of curves. Now you just need to grab all the curves, right? And then the hair base, you can just root on curve. Let me do that with um, 7 this time because I want them to be very smoothly bent over and connect to the root, right? 7 because they have 10, right? We can even go for it. 9 here just to have every point moved a little bit and then root. You can see now how they are very nicely rerouted right to the surface of the model and then those can be uh, uh, you know converted into guides also right. All right that should be every feature about its um, action hair toolkit. It's it's nothing super fancy but it's gonna be really helpful for you to build hair guides really quickly right then you can go back to the model and draw a few more lines it's a little bit more closer to the front root them and then keep doing that and you can quickly make all the all the guides all right that's it for this tutorial and i hope you enjoy this too again if you find any bugs hit me up and i can fix them right and also if you some out if you have some other ideas on like tools you wish you you have but maya doesn't have you can hit me up and i can maybe develop one for you all right that's it thanks for watching